Greetings Orphan Knights, welcome back to our filmmaking vlog here on TheOrphanMovie.com. As always, I'm your host, Jonathan Russell. And this time we actually have good news to share. I wish it was good news about The Orphan itself, but it's not. It's good news about our first short film. We actually shot our first short film. Uh, after a few stops and starts that I've told you about, we finally got it done. Um, you know, we had some conflicts between, uh, you know, schedules between myself and Valerie, who was uh, kind enough to work on the film with us. And then, of course, my wife Katie and I were on vacation. We got back from that last Tuesday, and we had already planned on shooting on Saturday. Fortunately, that all came to be. We uh, got together, and uh, Valerie and I ran through it several times and uh, tried to work out some timing. And we had some, still had some line issues, but we were able to work through that. So we got the film completed, and it's in the can, as they say. Uh, Jacob started editing on it. Uh, right now he's uh, got school going, as well as a few other things, so it's going to be not a quick process. We're not exactly sure when we're going to have it available to view, but as soon as we get close to that or when we do, we'll absolutely let you know. Uh, we really are excited about this because we've, of course, been wanting to get a film done, and we finally got a film done. We can finally show you, yes, we can really make films. We don't just talk about them. So um, this is a really exciting for us and we're really looking forward to being able to get this out because we all pretty much agreed uh, during the filming and afterwards that this is going to be pretty doggone funny. And just to let you know, I've been teasing all this time that it's a famous comedy routine and uh, all of that sort of thing. And I'm finally going to let you know what it is, is Abbott and Costello's Who's On First. Now, if you don't know who Abbott and Costello are, shame on you. Shame, shame, shame. If you don't know what Who's On First is, shame on you further. Go to YouTube. If you don't know right now, go to YouTube. Look up Who's On First. Then come back here. I'll be waiting for you. Go do it now. If you don't have, aren't familiar with it, if you haven't seen it in a long time, go rewatch it. Just to let you know, there's several different versions of it that's out there. The one that we used is from the film The Naughty 90s. Now, that's a brief reference to the 1890s. Why the 1890s is called the Naughty 90s, I don't know. That's the name of the movie that they did. And they did Who's On First in that film. It's the only film of theirs that they actually did that, uh, that routine. There's several versions of it out there, as I said, because as they traveled around the country, like with any musician or other artist, uh, performing artist, um, it was their most famous routine. And everywhere they went, people wanted to see them do Who's On First. Well, it gets boring doing the same thing over and over for a long time. So as they traveled, they would uh, change the routine up some. They'd add things, they'd take things out. They'd move this piece of dialogue to later on and you know move another piece of dialogue to earlier in the skit. So there are a lot of different versions of it that are out there. And uh, this is the one that I decided to use um, for a couple of different reasons. Uh, one of them is copyright. Um, I was going to talk about copyright, but we're, we're just wanting to do a short one right now. So I'll, I'll probably go into that in one of these next uh, couple of vlogs. But uh, if you're wondering about copyright violation, from what I understand, we're okay because of the version that we used. And I'll, like I said, explain that in another vlog. Uh, the shoot actually went pretty well. We, uh, we like I said, we rehearsed it for a few, uh, a few times and uh, we decided to, to go ahead and uh, get some shooting done and we were absolutely terrible. We were, weren't as prepared as we thought we were. So we went ahead and broke and had lunch and then we came back from that and uh, we were able to start rolling on things and get it going. And we ended up finishing up in um, actually a few hours. It's uh, probably only gonna be five, six minute long video once it's actually all put together. But uh, we're, uh, we, really, we really did, I think, uh, I, I, really, I mean, I don't want to sound like I'm bragging, but I think we did a really good job, and I think it's going to be really funny, especially when everything's uh, taken care of. Uh, just to let you know, the we adapted this to a particular setting. I did this, did uh, Who's On First several years ago in a show I was in, and at the time, we, uh, I did it with another actor, and then there were two actresses that did it as well, and we'd alternate nights. I would, and the guy I worked with would do it one night, the next night the ladies would do it. And I had the idea one night that it'd be funny to have it changed up, have it be a, a man and a woman doing it. The director thought it was, that was a good idea too, but we didn't do it, I'm sure, because we'd already been working with this one particular person. It would change things up, maybe cause problems. But it always stuck in my head that it'd be funny to do as a, 
as a short film, um, uh, in particular having it as being a husband and a wife, husband trying to explain baseball to his wife. So that's what we did with it. Um, I actually wrote some dialogue uh, to go in the first of the, to kind of set up. I, I didn't do it with the intention of, oh, I'm improving it, or oh, I'm gonna be as funny as they are, or anything like that. It was strictly to create the setting of, here's a husband and wife, and he's watching baseball, and she asks him, why don't you teach me about baseball? And then we went into the actual routine itself. And then there was another thing that I added at the end, just to close it out, because the routine itself was actually written for stage, so, um, Whenever you're on stage or on film, uh, you know, it, in, the, in the film the, that, they, that they performed it in, uh, they were doing it on stage in that film. So the way it's written, I mean, it's easy enough to, you know, performers walk out, they start, they go off, they, you know, open up the curtains, they start the routine, they close the curtains. It's, it's not, doesn't really have a, a particular beginning, a particular ending. So I added that in just, just for context and for the, like I said, the uh, the setting that I I, lo I put it in. Anyways, uh, that's really all I'm just going to talk about this time around. Just let y'all know that we've got it done. We are working on it. We're trying to get it taken care of. Uh, to, trying to get it finished. Trying to get that eating done so we can get it out for y'all to view. Wanted to let you know what it is we're finally doing, uh, what the name of it was, and uh, explain a little bit the reason why. Uh, if you have any comments or uh, Anything you might have as far as concerns, as far as the copyright, um, like I said, you know, I'm going to explain that in another video. But if you want to, if you want to contact us regarding that or anything else, actually, uh, our email, of course, is always realorphanmovie at gmail.com. Our social media presence is the Orphan Movie. That's on Facebook, that's on Instagram, and also on Twitter. Of course, our home on the web, theorphanmovie.com. That's where you find our videos. That's where you find our blogs. It's also where you can find uh, sign up for our email, which I actually sent an email out today regarding this uh, uh, upcoming vlog. And if uh, you can't find us one of those ways, it's because that's not where we're at. You're looking in the wrong place. That's it for next time. And uh, next time, like I said, I'll get a little more into the whys and whats of who's on first and let you know uh, any further information we have as far as uh, our progress on editing it. Till then, we'll see you next time.